right, so I get asked this question a lot, so I want to come over here and I want to talk about it. Um, Coach Bailey, is it too late for my athlete to play college basketball? They're junior, they're senior. Sometimes even they're freshmen, they're sophomore, they just haven't really played yet or they aren't really that good. And so I get that question a lot. I would say more times than most, I'm getting this question from a parent of a senior and in some cases of a junior. And so I wanna give you some strategies that can really help you. My parents of juniors and seniors, I wanna give you some strategies that can help you. And even those people that just, maybe your athlete is already graduated from, from high school. Maybe they graduated last year. Maybe they didn't play. Maybe they're just taking classes in college and they still won't have aspirations of being on the basketball team. And so let me explain a couple things for you. One, I'm gonna get this out early um, so we can move on. Why are you waiting so late, right? And I know a lot of times this is not to bash you, to beat you up. I know I hear a lot of parents say, well, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So my first question is, why are you waiting so late to seek help? or to seek the proper help. And again, I have a lot of parents that tell me, well, I really don't know what to do. I don't know anything about um, playing college basketball, the whole re recruitment um, phase. I don't know anything about those things. And it's not just about having your athlete be recruited. It's just about knowing the rules of engagement. And as a parent, if you understand and know the rules of engagement, you know how to do certain things, you know when to do certain things, but more importantly, you know why to do certain things. And so now my second question or my second comment, again, I wanna give you practical tips. My second comment now will be, what has your kids trainer an AAU coach been doing? Because I'm pretty sure most players that I'm talking to, most parents that I'm talking to when I'm talking to them together, if it's two things that majority of parents have for their athlete, they're going to a trainer and they're playing some sort of spring, summer basketball. So my question would be, what have they been doing all of this time? And why are they kind of leaving you high and dry to where now you feel as though you're stuck on an island with no help? So the first question, why wait so long? The second question, what have the people that you've been around, what have they been doing? Because obviously you've waited a long time now because whatever they were doing or whatever they were promising was not working. And so let's get to the practical tips so that we can end this video class today. All right, no, it's not too late. It is not too late to be able to get your athlete to play college basketball. There are a lot of programs out here on a lot of different levels. And so practical tips. One, does your athlete understand what level they can play on? See, everybody just wants to go Division One, and they're thinking, well, if I'm not getting this letter from this uh, Division One A school, um, then my athlete can't play college basketball. But there's Division One, there's Division Two, II, there's Division Three, there's NAI, and there is Junior College. And then you have prep school. So you have about six options for your athlete to play college basketball. So first, be able to identify what level can your athlete really play on currently. And if you don't know, go have somebody give you an honest evaluation of what level do you think my athlete can play on. That's the first thing. Once your athlete understands what level that they can play on, now they should be doing everything to understand what do they need to improve so that they can be valuable on that level. And so now, if I'm just, if I feel like I'm just capable enough to play on the junior college level, well, what are some things that junior college 
uh, level athletes have to be able to do. That's different than what some athletes on the NAIA level can do, or Division Three, Division Two, II, Division One. And so now, what skills do they need to sharpen? What skills do they need to improve? What tools in their toolbox do they need to grow? Speaking like junior college, a lot of times it's academic issues. It could be social development. It could be physical development. It could be um, um, social, emotional development. It's a lot of different things. It's not just always basketball development. But now once they know what level they can play on for certain, and they understand what things they need to do to improve on that level. Now, they should make sure that they have themselves an NCAA ID number. So they need to get registered with the NCAA Clearinghouse as well as the NAIA Clearinghouse. And from there, they should get an NCAA number. They should have a number. And so there are a lot of other things that they can do with that. But once they get their number, right, they have to put their transcripts in. Uh, they have to put some, some other things in. But these are the steps to getting started. Now, once they get those first three steps together, identifying what level they can play on, identifying what they need to improve on for that level, getting registered with the clearinghouse. Now, from there, now they need to start developing their package. And what's their package? Well, that's based on their plan. Aha! This is the meat of the video, the class. What plan do they have? Right? How are they going to get in front of these individuals? They only have a few weeks left of... AAU season, right? Um, open season for Division One coaches. But again, if they're not looking to go Division One, they have a little bit longer than everybody else that's just looking Division One. So once they have those things in place, now they have to follow the plan. And again, in order to follow the plan, they need themselves a coach that can help put a plan together and they can help hold their hand along that plan. Now it's simply getting in front of coaches, and that may be, again, based on your plan. It may be going to certain camps. It may be going to certain showcases. It may be in, in certain correspondence with certain coaches. Well, how do you correspond with them? Is it social media? Is it email? Is it text message? Is it phone call? Whatever that is, right? But you have to have the plan put together so that then you can execute on the plan. And so I gave you the first four steps to be able to help your athlete still play college basketball this coming season. And understand, I always tell my clients, you have until roughly around July 15th. After July 15th, I would start getting worried, right? Currently making this video, it's Memorial Day weekend. I believe May 27th, 2023. So you still have time, but you have to get that plan together first and you have to get that evaluation, right? We have to get the evaluation first, then the plan needs to be put together so that you can know how to proceed and move forward, all right? You don't have a lot of time, but what you do have is you have the ability and you have the option to go find you a coach that can help you along this way, all right? Now, we, we do a great job. We do a great job with helping our clients develop the tools that they need to help make them more recruitment ready. Because again, a lot of times it's not just physical development. Most athletes, they have their confidence issues or they may need to improve on their IQ. Then we can talk about exposure. But before we can talk about exposure, we have to develop the skills. And then once we have those four things in place, then they'll become more recruitment ready. So now listen, again, our services aren't free and it's not 
cheap to work with us, but we get the results in which we're looking for. College is about anywhere between, you know, 3,000 to 50,000 per year. Again, depending on which level they, they go to and they attend. And so, right, how can you get a return on your investment, right? We make sure that our clients get a return on their investment because of what they put in, they definitely get much more back because we show them how their college tuition can get paid for while they're still playing college basketball, all right? So if you would like to work with us, if you would like to work with us, uh, definitely book um, your uh, discovery call with us and let's hop on the phone and let's see if it's a good fit, right? We wanna make sure that you and your athlete is coachable um, enough to be able to follow the plan that we put in place, all right? We want results and we wanna deal with those people that want results, not just those individuals that just want to post on social media that they have an opportunity, all right? So how can you schedule your discovery call? Simple, easy. Um, just go to be the right recruit.com be the right recruit.com and go check out my free case study video right i put a case study video together about 11 12 minutes to explain to you a little bit more about what you and your athlete can do and should do to prepare them um to be able to play on that next level all right and even if your athlete is not yet at that junior or senior that information will help you because again even if they're just looking to make the high school team make their JV team or make the varsity team or get more playing time or just become more impactful, you definitely want to be a part of Hoops Mastery University. All right, Coach Carvel Bailey, make sure that you go check out that free case study video again at be the right recruit.com. And from there, you'll be able to uh, book and schedule uh, your free discovery call. All right, make sure that you fill out the application form um, in full and myself or my assistant will reach back out to you um, with the next steps. All right, talk to you all later. You still got time. You still got time. Don't fret. Don't worry. Yet, there's still time. You just got to put the plan in place and execute on the plan to get the results that you and your athlete is looking for. All right, Coach Carvel Bailey. Y'all be good out there. Stay safe too. Peace.